Hey guys, my name is Asad Siddiqui and in this video I will show you how to set up the Avada multi-purpose WordPress theme quickly and properly on your hosting account. So for my demo purposes I will use my SiteGround hosting account. By the way, if you are in the market looking for domain or hosting, uh, please do consider the SiteGround hosting. I think it's very good because they use solid state drives they have excellent WordPress tools, uh, maximum uptime, then they're pretty affordable. And on top of all that, I do really like the support that they offer. Uh, you can chat with them anytime and you can test them out before you actually sign up. So I use SiteGround for all my hosting needs. Anyway, getting back to my demo now, I do have my SiteGround backend open. So I've logged into my SiteGround account. And from here, I am just gonna click on go to cPanel and proceed and we will install an instance of WordPress. So under auto installers I can click on WordPress and once this uh, Softaculous WordPress install program opens I'm gonna click install now and as you can see that they do offer free SSL as well so I can go HTTPS but I don't own this domain my wp tutorials.com I'm just uh, running with a local host file so if you don't understand what I'm saying it uh, just just uh, something that I'm locally working with and not available on the internet so I do have something called Avada setup that I did before so Avada tutorial how about that so we will call our directory Avada tutorial. So the website will be available at mywptutorials.com forward slash Avada tutorial. So if you are doing this uh, and you want to install WordPress on your main domain, don't put any directory I've just put in so it uh, doesn't override my existing installation on this domain. So site name I will just leave as default. Uh, I can also change it. Site description, I can also change that. And we don't want to enable multi site. I will put in the admin username and password. And okay, so I'm not terribly concerned about the security for this install. I'm just going to destroy it. And instead of high asset, I am going to use I design smart okay and then language is English if you want to limit login attempts as a security thing uh, you can install that but I don't and I don't select a theme because we will set up a Vada theme so once you're done with that form you can simply click on install and this is a very quick process and this is gonna install WordPress on your SiteGround hosting account. Okay, so it says the WordPress is ready now and I can click or go to this word mywptutorials.com forward slash avada tutorial and look at my site. So there you go, it has the default uh, like 2017 or 2016 whatever that theme is. Um, and my site is all up and running. So here I can go to wp-admin and I will be able to access the backend right there. So I will put in my password and I will click on login. Okay, so looks like everything is cool and what I will do is just get rid of any plugins uh, that I don't intend to use. I will just deactivate Jetpack right now just select everything and delete it okay and now we want to install our site is ready for Avada installation before we actually do that we can also get rid of any unused themes from our installs which will help us minimize the size of our install make it easier for manage updates and stuff and then we go to appearance themes and I'll click on add new because we now we want to install the Avada theme so basically I did download the Avada theme from my theme forest account and I will show you how to like activate it properly and uh, put in your um, 
bundled plugins and things like that so that will be the next thing I will just click on upload theme and choose file and now we want to upload the Avada WordPress theme that right now I downloaded from my Word, uh, theme forest account um, I'll do that say install and now you can see that it's uploading okay and now it says that theme has installed I will go ahead and activate it and once I activate the theme I do see the notification here that says Avada requires a flaw following plugins install fusion core and fusion builder so that is something that is different to other WordPress themes so Avada uses uh, these two plugins for the visual builder that you have uh, built into Avada and that I use in a lot of my other videos that is the special thing that makes very it very easy to create layouts and it's a very powerful tool that gives you a lot of elements and design without any knowledge of CSS and HTML so let's go ahead and go manage plugins and install fusion core okay looks like it's done click on back again fusion builder so as you can see Avada comes with a lot of bundled plugins and these plugins are not limited to fusion core and fusion builder you do get premium WordPress plugins like white label branding convert plus uh, slider revolution layer slider advanced custom fields and these are uh, just bundled plugins that you can get from WordPress repository anyway, like WooCommerce and Contact Form 7, Yoast. Uh, but a lot of these, like the ones that say premium in green are premium WordPress plugins that you would have to pay for. And they do get updated uh, once you have uh, put in your license information. So to do that, what you need to do is click on the product registration or you can click on this tab. So you can click on product registration. And now it requires a key or token that you can use. So to do that, you have to simply click on that link. By the way, you need to be logged in to themeforest.net um, with your account that has purchased the Avada theme to be able to do this so you can click on this account generate a per personal token it'll take you to the envato api and then you can say what the name is like that and generate a token for yourself create token and we will just go ahead and copy this token okay so now i have that and i can simply click on here and put in this token and submit this form so once you do that you will see congratulations your project uh, product is registered now you see the green checkbox and now I can install any plugin or demo content that I want so any any um, white label branding or convert plus uh, which I will be following up and we'll talk in more detail about what those are and uh, what they can do um, so right now our theme is installed fusion core fusion builder is installed and I have registered the theme now I can go to visit site and I do see uh, that it is set up with the default uh, block page uh, another cool way like while I'm at it I'll also show you how to uh, import the sample content so you can go to demos and there are a bunch of demos that you have here like classic salon uh, electrician and the Avada University adventure like they keep adding new ones so it is a very powerful WordPress theme I covered a few of these in my uh, earlier videos uh, and the new ones added are pretty slick so I will just go with the salon right now I will just import this and once you do this uh, it's saying that these two plugins are not installed that need to be installed for the sample content to be activated so I will install that and that is pretty cool that you don't have to leave this a screen 
for installing the required plugins so uh, really uh, very nice job to theme fusion uh, that, that that is a really clean way to do th things and they've also added options as you can see the import content uh, you can do all pages images slider theme options widgets uninstall uh, uninstall means it will remove any previously installed stuff so now you can see it's become active i will also do contact form 7 so that is active now and to do all i will just slip, simply click on that and then i will say import and once you do that memory limit of 128 so that is where SiteGround comes in and they are usually very good about these um, uh, memory limits and execution times and and things like that so i that's is the reason i do highly recommend them for your wordpress uh, hosting uh, needs so while it is installing and it generally takes a minute as you can see it's done and now we are done with everything and the only thing we need to do is install the fusion patches that are available so to do that in the left hand side panel i will go fusion patcher under avada and click on the apply patch there and click on the apply patch there by the way if you're wondering what this is and what this notice is uh, there was a new law uh, the GDPR I don't know if you're with, uh, aware of it or not but that requires a lot of uh, notifications when you are uh, dealing or collecting any customer data and I'm sure one of the things that they included was to include notices for that kind of data so that is the reason you are seeing that anyways uh, we'll go back to visit my site and now what you will see is a totally new WordPress Avada website that is built with um, their sample demo content and I will definitely be creating more videos on how to edit that content and how to uh, this is a like a one page uh, WordPress website which scrolls like a parallax style um, scrolling website so I really like these these are pretty slick so I will do a further video that will talk in detail about how to use the Fusion Builder and how to do the layouts and you can also refer back to my existing videos for something and in the future we'll cover WooCommerce as well. So that was that and my objective was to just show you how to set up WordPress, how to set up the theme and install required plugins and um, install the required plugins and enable the sample content so that is it for right now thanks very much for watching and subscribe so you don't miss any content in the future thanks much for watching and until next time thanks